There's your 62 from yesterday. Now Andy Sullivan here with the driver. He'll be aiming down the left side and he'll be trying to move this from left to right to get it to land softly with a bit of height. Yeah. Oh, and he's done it. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. What a wicked pin position. What a shot that is. Sorry, that second one. It was just like... Pick that up virtually. That's incredible, isn't it? Beautiful start. Beautiful stuff. Eagle at the first hole moves to 16 under two ahead of Otegi and Cantor. A very fast running fairway. Green facing him, so not a high tariff shot. Nice. Beauty. And Andy Sullivan follows his opening eagle with a birdie. What a start to a day. 17 under. Yep. Pretty much like that. Couple of good ones there. Mm, lovely shots. Nine's a little bit into and off the left today. He's playing a little bit longer. Um, it was down and out the right um, the first two days. Um, oh, that's taking a bit of speed off it. Oh, that's a good break. <laughs> that's unbelievable. You, did you didn't? Well, you wouldn't have seen his tee shot on the first when he made a two on the first. No, I was still on the golf course. But the only driver of the day. That's the way to bookend the front nine. It, two eagles. It certainly is. He was another one who had uh, 28 yesterday on the home nine. Just got to get. A lot of cab on this. A big old gun. That's the one thing I didn't want it coming out like. Where? <laughs> all right. Dead. That's fine in there, man. No, that'll be all right, I think. Right. He'll be pleased when he sees where that's finished. Oh, Get a bit of spin on it from the Great fairway, finish, yeah. isn't it? Sully's played that really well. Bumped it into the bank in front of him. Wasn't that beautiful? Total cut so far. 11 holes, Sully 15. Burma's the great 16. Putting stats courtesy of Odyssey. That's always a good way when you're leading a tournament to make sure they don't catch you. Go out and shoot a low number. I've been out with him. This is the third day, and he's ripped it right down the centre each day here in the perfect spot. Is it fading enough? One seventy breeze into just trying to cut it into this right pin. Classy, really, really classy. Be the most predominant and little up the hill. Yeah, oh, very nice. Lovely lovely lovely, mate. <laughs> Delicious. That's how you do it. You're very generous, Ken. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> That's what's required. Pitching wage. Wedge into this green. He's a good drive. Only hole he hasn't birded this week. But, Lee, that might well change it. Three wood wedge as well. Yeah, three wood wedge. <laughs> yeah. 
Randy Kump straight in the middle. Beautiful stuff. Moves to 21 under par now. Birdies in the 16th, 17th. Very, very solid round yeah, of golf, wasn't it? It was, a, it was a proper professional display. Hit it in all the right spots. It wasn't scrappy. He looked like he was playing little knockdown shots when he needed to. Hit a lot of fairways. Well, Andy, a fantastic round, 64. You looked like you were enjoying yourself out there. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, I was just... <sighs> I was just trying to focus on a shot at a time really, I know it's a bit of a cliche but um, just really trying to control what I could do out there today, I knew I was swinging it well and I was just trying to give myself as many chances as possible and you know as I was swinging it well a lot of shots come off today and I had to give myself a lot a lot of chances so uh, yeah it was good, it was good fun out there, me and me and Rids had a, had a lot of fun together. You bookended the front line with the Eagles, tell me what, what the feelings were walking onto the 10th tee. Uh -huh. I was just quite happy. I think, you know, 400 for that nine, the way the week's been going is pretty, you know, pretty normal, I think, because everyone's been going pretty low this week. So I think it's a golf course where you can't really rest on your laurels, you know. you still got to go after it a little bit and try and make birdies, but also be sensible. So, you know, I never really, I never felt like, you know, I never, well, I didn't really realise I was that far, I was five in front until I was coming up the last sort of thing. It was, um, I was just trying to make as many birdies as possible, to be honest with you, and without, you know, trying to force the mistake, like a three pot on 13. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it was just trying to control my, my situation really and just keep it in the, the good golf shots that have been hitting all week. Like you mentioned, you've given yourself a nice cushion heading into the final round. What will the strategy be for you tomorrow? Same as today, just control what I can do. Can't control anyone that's going to come up behind me. You know, this golf course does offer a lot of birdies, so I'm sure at some point someone's going to have a little run at me. But um, all I can do is control what I can do and see where we are at the end of it. Hope it goes well for you tomorrow. Thanks Cheers. for your time. Thanks very much. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.